Adam Bede, written by George Eliot and first published in 1859, is set in the fictional rural community of Hazlope in England during the early 19th century. The novel explores themes of love, morality, and the impact of industrialization on rural life, entwining a tragedy of seduction with a pastoral tale of hope and redemption. Adam Bede, a diligent and principled carpenter, is the central character. He is respected for his work ethic and integrity, and he is in love with a pretty but shallow dairymaid named Hetty Sorrel. However, Hetty's aspirations extend beyond Adam as she is infatuated with the young squire, Arthur Donathorne, who flirts with her without any intention of serious commitment. Meanwhile, Adam's brother, Seth Bede, is in love with Dinah Morris, a Methodist preacher and their distant relative, but she has committed herself to her missionary work and does not return his romantic feelings. The tensions in the community heighten when Hetty agrees to a secret engagement with Arthur, who is oblivious to the implications of his thoughtless actions. Arthur cares for Hetty, but fails to foresee the destructive consequences of their affair. As Hetty dreams of a more affluent life with Arthur, Adam, unaware of their relationship, hopes to marry Hetty himself. The novel's pivotal turning point comes when Hetty discovers she is pregnant with Arthur's child. Panicked by the social disgrace and desperate to avoid scandal, she conceals her pregnancy and desperately seeks a solution. Arthur, feeling guilty about his behavior and prompted by a stern lecture from Adam who discovers the affair, decides to end the relationship with Hetty and joins the militia to leave Hazelope. He does so, however, without knowledge of Hetty's pregnancy. Abandoned and distraught, Hetty embarks on a heart-wrenching journey to find and appeal to Arthur for help. But when she arrives at his military post, she learns that he has departed for Ireland. Realizing the hopelessness of her plight, Hetty resolves to get rid of the baby. Left with no place to turn, she gives birth alone and in panic abandons the infant in a field where it dies. The tragedy dawns on the community when the dead baby is found, and Hetty is arrested and tried for infanticide. She is found guilty and sentenced to death, but Arthur, who has returned from Ireland and been informed of the situation, seeks a commutation of her sentence. With his efforts and the intervention of the compassionate Dinah, Hetty's sentence is reduced to transportation to Australia. The novel moves from this climax toward a resolution of the remaining characters' lives. Adam, who has suffered deeply from the revelation of Hetty's actions and his misplaced trust in Arthur, slowly comes to terms with his loss. His character, built on moral fortitude and a strong work ethic, endures the challenges and emerges with a deepened understanding of human frailty and forgiveness. In parallel, Dinah's character brings a spiritual and compassionate element to the narrative. She provides comfort to Hetty in her darkest hours and is a source of support to the Bede family. Seth continues to hold unrequited love for Dinah, yet his kindness and devotion to her never wane. As time passes, grief softens, and Adam recognizes a kindred spirit in Dinah. His admiration for her grows, and he comes to realize that Dinah possesses the depth and goodness that he had once mistakenly believed he saw in Hetty. Eventually, Dinah's resistance to married life gives way to her love for Adam and sympathy for his past suffering. Adam and Dinah's relationship strengthens and becomes the center of a new hope for the Hazelope community. In the end, Adam and Dinah marry in a ceremony signifying the healing and renewal of the community. Their union represents a synthesis of moral integrity and compassionate faith, qualities that suggest a positive future for the rural society. The novel concludes by projecting into the future, describing the thriving life Adam and Dinah build together, surrounded by their loving family. As they pass on their principles and beliefs to the next generation, the memory of Hetty serves as a somber reminder of the consequences of passion and irresponsibility. Arthur Donathorne, for his part, carries the weight of his actions with him, his character forever marked by the tragedy he unwittingly precipitated. Adam Bede combines realism with a complex examination of the moral and social fabric of rural life, while at the same time employing an omniscient narrator who occasionally interjects reflections on the characters and the storytelling process itself. George Eliot's masterful portrayal of human nature and community in Adam Bede offers an enduring exploration of duty, the quest for happiness, 
and the redemptive power of love.